A few days ago, I received a text from a friend and it said, the golden bachelor is divorcing, exclamation point. I was shocked, but not surprised, really. I've been thinking about this for the past few days and I went back and watched my own video that I made about the Golden Bachelor show, I think about five months ago, called My Take on the Golden Bachelor. And I was skeptical, but it seemed that in that video, I was like, yeah, okay, this is okay. This is fun to watch, even though it's not real. And that's exactly what I'm thinking now. It wasn't real. Hi, I'm Sandy from Sandy Over 70. Welcome to my channel and I hope you'll subscribe if you haven't already and click that little notification button. So what went wrong with Gary and Teresa? Well, it's really quite clear. They were in a bubble for four weeks filming the show. Gary had to date 22 women and pick one. How can any person pick one? one person out of 22 to marry in four weeks. It, it's literally impossible because selecting a maid takes time. Now he probably felt chemistry with several of the women and those are the ones of course that he picked as his finalists. But chemistry and marriage are two different things as they found out. I was thinking back to the hometown visits when he went to visit the runner-up whose name was Leslie. She lived on, it looked like a farm. She had a lot of animals and she loved her horses. And I remember she said that she couldn't imagine leaving her home. And I'm sure that's what Teresa felt also, and that's what Gary also felt. They were all immersed in their hometowns. They had roots. And here they are with someone they barely know, and they're having difficulty deciding where to live. It's just not surprising at all. Very few people want to leave their home and move to another state like they were talking about and set up new housekeeping, make new friends, find a new doctor, a new church, everything when you're in your 70s. That's really asking a lot. So I think whether he chose Teresa or Leslie, it was the same situation. Then I was thinking about the wedding that they had so fast. It was a big extravaganza. Why did they do that? Well, he said it was because they were older and they didn't have time to waste. And I bought that at the time. And yeah, maybe that was true. But what I think is really true is that they were offered a bundle of money to do that wedding because they were able to sell sponsorships and the network made a lot of money on that wedding extravaganza. I'm sure they were paid very, very well and they got to do all kinds of other things related to it that they were paid for, other appearances. Also, of course, they got the very expensive rings which they have to give back because if they don't stay together for two years, they have to give those rings back. But I think it was probably the money that they didn't want to pass up at their age. They probably knew such a large sum wouldn't come their way again. And I don't know how much that is, but I think we can all use our imaginations. Recently, the press got a hold of the fact that they were not living together, had not lived together, and were living in separate states. And I think that at that point, they realized they needed to really make a decision, and that's when they decided to divorce. It's very sad. There are feelings involved. 
there were feelings involved during the show. I felt so bad for those women when they were eliminated because you could tell they were really hurting every single one of them at the end who really wanted to marry Gary were really devastated when they were voted off. Gary and Teresa were living in a bubble with the rest of them during that four weeks. It truly was. They were isolated, particularly the women. They were totally isolated. Their phones were taken from them. No TV. They couldn't leave the mansion. And all the focus was on getting that man. And that's why their emotions weren't based in reality. And that's why they acted the way they did. So it's over. I'm very sorry. I was really pleased with the show at the end and the way it worked out. I thought this was a real match. But now I think it wasn't. It couldn't be. And there was a lot of money involved. And honestly... I'm not sure I'm going to watch the next one because it's so fake. Yes, it was entertaining, but honestly, I don't know if I can watch another one. Are you going to watch it? Did you watch this one? What do you think? Let us know in the comments.